Well, we are right here at the green area of the festival site and there's uh, much things you can do all over the day. There's the church tent and the jam stage and there's a dance tent. There's also a launch and uh, much uh, workshop tents where workshops will be held. And uh, there are really great drop-in activities all over the place. So let's take a closer look at uh, some of them. <laughs> this is Wiebke from Germany and she's responsible for the drop-in activities. Can you tell us something about that? Yes, we have first of all we have the drop-in tent here where you can come and uh, give your ID card and then you can choose uh, material which you can use with your friends. For example, card games or juggling material. And then we have the water action uh, where you just can go and uh, yeah, have fun there or jumping castle and bungee run. And we also have sports where you can join. Just come with your friends and have a good time. Let's drop in. Now we're heading to the workshop tents where all the workshops take place all over the week. Um, there's so many that we can only show you some now. Can you tell me what's your name? My name is Marta. Marta is one of the workshop leaders at the festival. What is this workshop about? Uh, it's about devotions. A workshop about devotions and uh, it basically um, teaches young people how to lead the devotions and we share our ideas about devotions, how to make devotions interesting and creative and we share some fresh ideas so, d so that devotions are not just, you know, stories and uh, Bible readings but also some games, some interesting reflections and other interesting things for young people to do. Hi, can you tell us your name? Caroline. Sindra. Mari. Yeah, and uh, can you tell us something about what we just saw? What you just saw was an uh, impulsive uh, concert from the Mini Choir workshop we had today at two, uh, where we uh, sung the firework by Katy Perry. And how was your workshop? Oh, it was very nice, exciting kids and uh, mini choir, I will say, because we were about 85, I think. <laughs> so you didn't expect so much to p participate? No, but after the mass choir was on 250, we thought, um, so the mini choir would be like 80, yeah, <laughs> one third of the <laughs> group. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is Greg and Jordan and they're doing the Capoeira workshop. Can you tell us about it? It has been so fun we bring it for our Brazil. Uh, it's a typical game we have there. It's historical because the, our slaves played it in the many time ago. So I think uh, everyone, everyone uh, likes, likes it. It was easy teaching for the people of BTS. And I think uh, everyone is prepared to play Capoeira now in Germany and all the countries that have been here in BTS. <laughs> So the workshop went really well? Yeah, really well. They have all learned Capoeira very well. We have played a lot. Okay, great. And can, can you tell us more about uh, what kind of sport it is? Yeah, it's not like a sport. It's uh, Many people confuse it. It's, it's a game, okay? Or some people call it like a arch martial art. It's not a martial art, it's, it's a game. You can play it wherever you want, wherever you are, without music, just with some rhythm uh, with, with your hands and if you want it you can use it to self-defense but the principal goal for the capoeira is the, it's the game you're playing without, with other people. That's the funny thing of capoeira I think. Right behind me is the jam stage here you're able to give short concerts with the new friends you made. I think I'll join them.
as I said before, there are some more tents where you can spend your daytime. There's the dance tent. Uh, the launch tent. And right behind me, the big church tent. And this was the green area of the festival. And now I'm gonna have some fun! <laughs> 